Hey guys, uh, welcome to your January 2023 prediction reading for Cancer. Uh, you can apply this to any replacements because uh, this reading could be about anything. So we're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in January and finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right. Tell me about cancer here. Tell me about cancer here. Uh, what does Cancer need to know for January 2023? What is surrounding Cancer? What can Cancer expect for January 2023 for Cancer? Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. I feel like you're tired of competition here, okay? I feel like you're tired of fighting and arguing with other people, all right? We have the Two of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like it could be tar you know, I, I feel like it could be traumatized by, you know, someone here gaslighting you. And I feel like you're trying to figure out what to do here. It seems like you're dealing with a situation here where you're feeling very, very lonely. You know, it could be an indication that, you know, this could be in a work setting, you know. This could be in the work setting where there's a lot of competition here, you know, with the two of pentacles, five of pentacles. Yeah, you could be struggling financially here too, uh, ca uh cancer. You know, there's a sense of not having enough, you know. So we have the Page of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I, I do feel like there's an offer that's coming in for you when it comes to uh, your work situation. I do feel like, you know, there could be, you know, a new job offer. And this job offer is going to be something that you're really going to go for. Um, so whatever this is, you could be leaving. You know, you're set to leave you know, employment and kind of like jump ship towards something new here. Okay. So, you know, um, cancer, a lot of you guys could be starting a new job in the new year here. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. It could be a situation that you were dealing with some, a, 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 a work situation where it was just really competitive. There was a lot of like competition here. Uh, you know, you got tired of it. Uh, you weren't being paid enough for, you know, the, uh, the drama here. All right. We have the, uh, nine of wands and the six of cups. Tell me about the five of swords here and the king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Okay. No, I just feel like there's an energy of tired of, you know, maybe thinking about the past or tired of missing somebody here. Okay. Um, you know, I do feel like whoever this individual is, you know, maybe someone here is trying to win you back and, you know, perhaps this person's coming towards you with some sort of communication here and I feel like you don't know what to do here. Okay, King of Wands, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the ten, uh, Five of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords. You know, it seems like, you know, you could be ending a relationship here too, you know, and really cancer going into the new year starting ever like everything completely fresh new you new job you know perhaps you know i don't know when maybe at some point you're going to meet new people here page of swords here libra aquarius gemini you know um this is so interesting so you know i i'm feeling like if this is a love situation here Someone here might be ghosting someone through text message. Like, I feel like this person is not even going to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. And I just feel like they're going to say something like along the lines, you know what, I'm sorry. You know, this is not working out. Like, I'm just going to leave this, you know, leave you. And then you won't hear from this person again. Page of Pentacles here in the Four of Cups. Queen of Wands here in the Ten of Cups. Wow. 
whatever this offer that's coming towards you when it comes to this new job, um, yeah, I, I feel like this is going to make you incredibly happy here. Okay, Cancer. Ten of Cups here. What else do we have here? You know, maybe someone here is coming back from the past here, trying to give you everything that you've always wanted. All right, what else do we have here for Cancer for 2023? What does Cancer need to look out for, work on here for January 2023? We have the Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Nine of Swords and the Moon and the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. King to the Queen of Pentacles, okay. So Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Seems like someone here could have walked away from you. Now they're trying to come back with an apology or an offer here. Whatever this is, I feel like this is, you know, I feel like maybe this is something that you're seeing in your dreams here. And I feel like you're expecting this to happen. Okay. So uh, King of Pentacles and the King, uh, Queen of Pentacles, true pairs here. Both Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces here. I mean, you could be heading into a new relationship, but I'm just going to pull more cards just to see what's going on here. Eight of Cups. We have the Lovers here, the Page of Cups, and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. What we have here is I feel like someone here definitely walked away from you. And now they want to come back around. Yeah. Okay. They want to come back around with an apology. They want to make an offer here. Gemini Energy with the Lovers, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Um... It's sort of like an energy you're like you're seeing this coming or that you saw this coming and i feel like it, it's kind of like it's going to come true okay the nine of swords here and the three of wands yeah i feel like this was a vision here the moon and the sun okay yeah i do feel like you know i feel like you're dreaming about this or you're having visions about this and you feel like this is someone from your past or you're, you're dreaming about someone from your past coming back and they're going to come back i feel the Sun, Leo energy, the King of Pentacles here in the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles here in the Five of Cups. Whatever this is, I feel like whoever this is, this masculine is definitely coming in to give you some sort of clarity that you've been looking for. You know, whoever this is, this is someone that really disappointed you and I feel like there is going to be a conversation that's going to happen here. So there's a lot going on here for you, Cancer. Yeah, so regarding this new job offer that you're getting here, I just feel like you're you're moving towards your abundance here. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like the money is going to be really, really great. This is going to require you to travel a lot. And I feel like you're going to be in the public eye here when it comes to uh, this new job that you're taking on. This is so interesting because I feel like some of you guys might be journalists. You guys could work in TV, radio, newspaper, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys are in the public eye here, all right? Yeah, some of you guys might even have a YouTube channel and do blogs or something like that or they do podcasts, yeah? So, um, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.